Okay, folks, welcome back after a long absence to Musical Con and plays Slay That Spire. It has been a bit, but you know, today I just felt like I'm looking for something to do. Let's let's boot up the old spire. Now I was disheartened to learn that my last video did not record the video properly only recorded my audio it seemed like an issue with my recording software which I have updated and double checked that it is recording properly as we speak it seems to be capturing <laughs> it took several tries to get this one even going as I had to update that and it kept closing the game and then I realized oh it was still recording discord sounds from those disco Elysium games way back then so instead of just disabling that I decided to just Close Discord, and you didn't ask for that. You asked for Spire content. So, since the last daily run video just did not work out, we're going to do a new one. So this is a daily challenge where we're just playing a run, and who knows what it's going to be like. Looks like we're playing the Watcher. We're going to get a Chimera mo We get a few modifiers. So we're playing Slay the Spire, but it's a little different. First of all, our starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Second of all, ooh, I haven't played with this one before. Controlled Chaos. Start with Frozen Eye, which, if you're not familiar or don't have it off the top of your head, what Frozen Eye does is it lets you view your deck in order. So when you go to look at your deck, instead of just seeing the cards, you know, in whatever order you got them, but they're actually assembled randomly, you're actually seeing them in the order you're going to draw them that fight, which is very useful, but at the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the bottom of your draw pile. So you can see what's coming, but who knows what it's going to be. And finally, Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer smith at rest sites. Uh, which usually just means you skip campfires and go to more shops. Daily runs are going to be on Ascension Zero, so... Compared to my usual Ascension 20, they're generally a much breezier experience, difficulty-wise. So, you just get to play around with these weird modifiers. Without further ado, let's hop in. So our starting deck... <laughs> Alright, we've got all kinds of iconic stuff. We've got Bash from Ironclad, Survivor from D Silent, Zap from Defect, Eruption from Watcher. So we have Wrath, but no way to leave it. And then we just get three different kinds of strike and three different kinds of defend. Cute. Alright, let's get in there. Uh, and I just like to do as many elites as possible, and with Midas I like to do as many shops as possible. That's about the level of strategy required for daily runs, usually. If you're used to playing on A20. Let's start here. Nah, here. It's literally the same, but with an extra port. I don't think we need to go to that shop over an elite so we could go to like elite elite shop and there's a campfire in the middle if we need to heal let's see what happens oh we start with miracle of course because we are the watcher uh, i don't think we want to enter eruption yet so let's zap survive and eh, whatever we'll pull block this thing's like, not gonna hit that hard on Wait, is this Ascension? No, this is Floor 1. It's not Ascension 1. That would be wild. Alright, let's make it vulnerable. Let's do Defect Strike. Oh, right, and now... That's right, we're never going to draw our deck again. Oh, that's I didn't think about that. Yeah, unless we can draw more than 10 cards per turn with just the random cards we get. Oh, uh, we're just going to be... After we run through our deck, we're never going to get those cards again. We're just going to get random stuff. Okay, I'm interested. Uh, I'd like a Perseverance. Although a way to enter Calm would be good. Eh, Perseverance is the card that's the most fun. Flying Sleeves is what I would take on A20, but we're not there. So whatever. Okay, 9 plus 12 plus another 12, so 24, 33 knock that out, stay in Wrath, this one should be easy, and, ow, ooh, talk to the hand, that's a very good card, and I like it, at Ascension Zero, I'm just going to take cards I like and do things I think are fun, like digging through the ooze, 
I guess we're in kind of in... Normally you might want to have a small deck that's just cards you like, but that's because you're going to play those cards over and over again. In this deck, we want to add any card we think might be decent and get as big a deck as possible, because after that we just have an infinite deck of random cards. So anything that we think might be usable is worth having thin again. Our deck is always going to be on the top, so we do want to have like good cards at the start. Uh, question marks are more interesting than enemy fights. Uh, Dreamcatcher, not that exciting, but we have it. Potions. Uh, oh, right, we can carry three potions. Ascension zero. Cool. <laughs> um, let's look at our next five cards. Bash, sap, defend, strike, defend. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it would be really in our interest to eruption here. If we were in Wrath and we had 5 strength, we'd still only do... Okay, so 14, 28. 11 goes to 22. So we could do 40. And then another 20. We end our turn in Wrath. That seems like a lot of work for a small payoff. Let's just keep this, let it retain, get real big. Uh, actually, we are going to be pretty much invincible against these enemies, because their whole thing is they fill our discard pile with trash, but we will never ever use our discard pile. Uh, I'm just going to play stuff. Don't need to think, just play cards. We're going for an easy breezy run at this difficulty. Uh, study would be a lot better if we were actually getting into our draw pile very much. Full block. Yeah, I'll keep that. Powers will be good when we can play them. It's just a question of when we can play them. Windmill Strike will be nice. Uh, well, we get two block and a Mantra. My Windmill Strike is going to keep getting bigger. I could at any time view my draw pile and see what's coming up, but I like the surprise. Uh, okay, I'm curious. Will Master Reality upgrade the random cards that get added to our draw pile? That's a question I'm interested in. And I don't know, just play some stuff. Mm, whatever. What I'm interested in is... Are these tin cards going to be upgraded or not? Okay, bottom of our draw pile. Yes, they are all upgraded. So if we can get Master Reality like into our starting deck, that would actually be an incredibly powerful card. Okay, Reclaim into Sanctity. Into... I guess Empty Body. We're going to just keep holding on to these windmill strikes, so they'll keep getting bigger. So powers. Powers in our starting deck is good. Okay. Mm I'm interested in these cards. And now we take... Hey, no damage. Cool. And now we just do big windmill strike. These are wild fights. Just doing random stuff. Floria Blows is very good, because as soon as it's in our discard, we can get it back repeatedly. And as we get more and more Floria Blows in our discard, every time we change stances, we get more and more of them into our hand. And uh, we're going to erupt on this poor little thing. I get vulnerable and hit it, and hey, what do you know? It dies. Didn't really do the math. Felt like it would be okay. A way to enter calm would be good. Let's do an event. Events are fun. Mm, gold is cool, but let's do an event. Hey, what do you know? It's an enemy anyway. Okay, 43 goes down to 31. 
You know what? I think this will be okay. They each have 15 health. We're in Wrath. We have no debuffs. No, there's one and it has 15 health. We are frail but not weak. And there we go. Scry is decent. I'll take a third eye. Why not? Uh, bonus dexterity is great. Heal up. Yeah, whatever. Oh, but we do get to add a card, and of course we're adding talk to the hand, because I love that card. And I don't think there's really any such thing as too many copies of it. Uh, boring turn. Just hit it a couple times. This is good, though. Let's do a bunch of damage, take a bunch of damage. Who cares? We have to heal soon anyway. Hey, what do you know? It's dead. Draw two extra cards at the start of the fight. That's awesome. Cut through fate is a decent attack that also scries. I'm into that. Whew. Okay, we'll get some vulnerable. We'll scry and get some some good cards coming up. Yep, we've done damage, it's vulnerable, we've scried, it's a good turn. They're fully blocked, and now it has, it's no longer vulnerable, but we are. And I will play Prostate, I think that's, that's what it says, right? And at the start of each turn, add a smite into your hand, that is great. And now we play it. Master Reality, that is the card that will upgrade all our cool stuff. So I'm interested in that very much. Uh, discard Pile is completely irrelevant, but Weave could be good. We do Scry a couple times, and just anything that adds... Anything that we can get back from our Discard Pile repeatedly is really good when we never shuffle that. Uh, these are two healing items that I don't think we really need. And here's a thing that I think does nothing. So let's just remove a strike. Secret technique could actually be pretty good because any skill could be in our draw pile. I'm actually just gonna skip these and just buy out the next shot. I legitimately do not think we're in any danger of dying this run. Hmm. Wait, actually, 14 plus 8. Yeah, I could have just done this. That's fine. Nice. And this thing is going to be in bad shape. Talk to the hand. Uh, scrying. It's good. Heal, yada yada. Uh, AoE damage, why not? I like zero cost stuff, it's fun. Alright, now we just talk to the hand. We, we'll just draw our Flurry of Blows and play it. Leave it with four left to split. We got our Perseverance in hand, growing nice and strong. Kind of hoping for an eruption, but that'll be okay. Uh, now it's got four talk to the hand, so when we attack, playing attacks is actually pretty safe to do. Because it actually gains us one block. Not really worried about taking two damage here. Might have been nice to enter Wrath, but eh, who cares. Uh, we could enter Divinity, but it wouldn't really do anything, would it? <laughs> Better than shuffling an expunger into our draw pile. Conjure Blade is a trash card. There's Master Reality. And hey, what do you know? Sometimes we just block. I'll play a power, why not? Next up. 
I mean, I'll vault. We've got two cards that can just retain and get big and strong. Huh. Must have gotten a Deus Ex. Oh, we just got two of them. Handy. Hmm. 11 is a nice number of damage to do. Get it down to 2. Oh, wait. Zap. Well, we, sp we splat. It's the past tense of split. I don't want to know. What do you know? Zero cost attacks. Pretty good here. Uh, enter Wrath and draw two cards next turn. Sounds pretty good to me. the next 58 cards will be a beta plus. That's handy, I guess. And what do you know? We did a bunch of damage. Ooh, we could choose any card in our massive draw pile and play it twice. I'm feeling not lucky. <laughs> of course we got more omniscience. Okay, so I'm getting the sense that omniscience was pretty good here. So we can play that twice, and... I don't know. Play that twice, enter Divinity. Play that twice, have our next attack deal 8 additional damage. Play. Yeah, let's finish it off. Then finally play Ragnarok twice. So we get a bunch of strength. We enter Divinity for triple damage. Our next. Okay, so that was going to deal 90 times 12 that attack. Vault is a good card. Uh, Snekawai. Uh, we get our random cards even faster and they have random costs. Heko, yes, I'll techo the Sneko. Alright, elites and shops. There's a shops. There's a shops. There's an elites. Okay, so three elites and one shops. Two shops. I don't know. I don't need to count. Hey, we got Master Reality. Well. Now we just draw all the stuff. Ooh, a free vault? Heck yeah. What's a skill I like? <laughs> Another vault. Meditate is good. No way, I can't play that with Vault. Okay, waste of time. Wrong order, but whatever. Let's try that turn again. Well, that's handy. Scrawl is good. Crush Joints is okay. Conjure Void is not. Let's fill up our hand. Hey, cheap. Get a bunch of block. I don't know. Weave it away. None of these are good. Buying things. Uh, bottle. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to bottle Master Reality. So we play that turn one every fight. We add an Omniscience in there. We get some extra strength. Uh, we remove a strike. Seems like a pretty good deck to me. I feel like we could beat the heart, which we don't need to do for some time. Well, we can't even do it on this run, actually. Uh, you don't have key pieces unlocked on this level. So, uh, we're going to Omniscience here. Just a question of what to Omniscience. <laughs> Day of form will be fun. So I guess it's at the start of each turn, so that includes our first turn. Uh, it's good to put Weave in the discard pile for zero, that way whenever we draw it back it costs zero. Mm. Yeah, we'll get that stacking. I guess we're not playing Master Reality this time, but I don't know. Those will be fine. We're fully blocked. Whatever. 
Whatever, we won the fight. We won every fight. We're just in it for the amusement. Oh, I should enter Wrath. There we go. That's better. Potions. Who needs them? Draw a bunch of cards for... Yeah, Wheel Kick is great with Snackalai. Fell in a little fast here, because... Why not? We won. Omniscience something. What are we going to Omniscience? I'll talk to the hand. It's always good. Oh, we take 13. Who cares? Not a big deal. Draw a bunch of cards. What's a good skill here? That's good. And... Oh, Scrying got that back immediately. Well, now we're fully blocked. Next turn we're in Wrath and we draw two cards. Drawing cards is great with Snekalai, because those random costs give you whatever you need. I'm just going to assume that this is a kill. Entering... doing triple damage with gained strength is usually pretty nice. Powers, why not? Got a heal, nothing else we can do there. I'll add a retained card that enters Calm for us, and here we get three elites and a shot. We're just going to see how strong we can get. Which is very strong. So now all the cards we add are going to be upgraded. And we get an extra turn, which is nice. This thing's never going to do anything to us. Uh, are we playing twice? I mean, Eruption's pretty good to play. Just as a card. Okay. I can work with that. So now it took its first turn. It gave us a, a confusion. Oh no. It's the thing we already had. Anyway, moving on. Tantrum is a good card. It's, it's cheap and it enters wrath. Well, it's actually the same cost as everything else, right? But it's still good. Hey, what do you know? It's cheap. Uh, I'm just going to take some damage here and trust that things will work out for me. You know, we haven't used a, a potion in a while. Why not use a potion? I uh, will take 12 damage, or 14 damage, I'm fine with that. And it's dead. I don't know how yet, but I know that it is. Ragnarok. 14 times 1. Vulnerable is good, it make it hit. Collect plus, why not? Upgrade some attacks. Hey, talk to the hand plus. Skip the campfire because it's useless. Fight the dudes because we like our money. Alright, what's Omniscience got for us? Oh, it's got another Omniscience. Perfect. So we can get Divinity, which is good to do. I recommend it. And... Yeah, then we can double wheel kick. This will also deal 30 damage to all enemies. That's probably pretty good. Oh no, we have bonus strength to start with. So 27? I don't know how that worked. I'm fine with it. So now, uh, one vulnerable and one weak at the start of combat to all enemies. Down to party like that. Spin the wheel. What do we got? <sighs> oh no, we get stabbed. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with everything. Like this elite. Hey, it's basically the same fight we just did. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, what do we got two of? Let's 
talk to the hand plus this time. Let's master reality. I love mastering reality. It's so enlightening. Nice. Uh, we'll discard that. We'll just draw a strike. We're not expecting to play it. Get a little extra block there. We've full blocked, killed one of them, and established some control with that block return factor. Alright, let's hop over here, do the big hits. And, you know what? Let's make this one wait for it. Enough waiting. Hey, we got a potion. Wish, why not? It does cool stuff sometimes. Uh, removing debuffs would remove confusion, and I like confusion, it's fun. Let's get some mantra, let's get some energy sometimes. Uh, let's remove a strike, or a defend. When was the last time we played a defend, honestly? We've got all these talk to the hands, that's how we block. Uh, let's remove Ironclad Defend. I, th I like the idea of the Watcher using her cool cloak. Would have taken another one of these, but money concerns. Like so many are having in these tumultuous times. Ha! Did you come to Vipio Gain to escape? Surprise. I'm here to make everything serious all the time. Get that out of there. Let's get some money, why not? Get rid of Master Reality since we're not playing it. And... You know, let's just hit the big one. I think we'll be able to handle it pretty well. It seems like we're doing okay against it. Throw me some cards. Let's kill it next turn. And pow. Next up. I'll just take as many of these as I can fit in my deck. Um, Wrath, why not? Our deck is up to 30 cards before it gets random, which is good. Wow, that music was loud there for a moment. Uh, let's get the money, because I like the money, and then... Double Omniscience, obviously, and then... Double Worship, and then double Talk to the Hand Plus. And then, uh, I don't know. Just, like, play some cards. Seems like an okay turn one. Hopefully we can do some stuff turn two as well. Like, make them all vulnerable. Add more hand talking. What's a skill that's cool? Drawing a ton of cards for zero is nice. I bet we'll be able to kill this thing for two energy. What do you know? If we do, if you draw seven cards, we had a good chance that one of them would be attacked. Uh, upgrading cards in our deck is, for once, not that good. So we only see them once. Runic Pyramid would be terrible with Sneko Eye, and just with all the random cards we're getting. And tr tr up improving our starting deck is not that good when we're mostly playing playing other cards, or often playing other cards, less often now that we're playing other stuff. Let's just get extra energy, enemies have extra hitting power, who cares, we hit them harder first. Alright, shop shop, elite, 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 elite. We go to a shop and then a bunch of elites. I'm fine with that. Alright, well a lot of stuff costs zero. 
We'll master reality, we'll zap. We have money, we'll omniscience. What can we omniscience? Oh, let's omniscience a talk to the hand. That's a good card that we like to play. Should have gone into wrath first. Should have played this before we did that. And who knows? Sometimes life just happens right at you. You know what? We got through it. We took one damage that we didn't have to take, but we got through it and we learned. I don't know what we learned, but something, probably. Yikes, the game is doing loud things to me every now and then. Not sure I love it, but... Sometime it just won't happen. Hey, thank you, Zap. Oh, it not die. Let's fix that. I just kind of expect things to die when I hit them with my cards. Money sometimes. Money now. Money spend now. Get an extra copy of a card in your deck? Well, there's a clear best choice. So you know what it is? It's definitely omniscience. Now we can always omniscience and omniscience, and when we're lucky, we can omniscience and on another omniscience. Because, hey, I heard you like omniscience, so I put some omniscience in your omniscience. Uh, the, the silent defend is staying. The watcher defend is going. We are not the watcher anymore. We got another one of these. We are the observer. Who knows what the observer do? Cool things, I bet. Alright, no more shops in our future. We have made the choice not to have them. I'm okay with that choice. We're not doing a lot of a lot of orb stuff with that zap, are we, huh? Alright, let's omniscience and omniscience. And then we'll double play indignation. Uh you know what? No point in double playing wish actually. We'll double play talk to the hand. Double playing wish cool for get money, but not need. Uh I guess if it's Thorns is only three, that's a pretty easy decision. Oh, we won. Meditate cool. Next up, I guess I could just do campfires to get through it faster now that we've already won, but I don't know. I'm having a good time just blasting through these. Omnish the omnish. Talk the hand and talk the hand and talk the hand and talk the hand. <laughs> Draw some cards. Take another turn. Get ten block every time we attack that, which is a good number of the good thing to have happen to us. Get some of those back. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It is intangible, so it can only take one damage, but. Well, you do one damage four times. Probably. Uh, but let's wish for money anyway, because money... Cool. We're still gonna till it, kill it while it's intangible, don't worry. Last HP for elite fights. Hey, look, a power. That's good to omnish. Maybe. I mean, if we don't like mana, and we don't want it, and we don't care about it. Secret technique and omnish. Now we double play our omnish, and so that we can double play our omnish. So that we can double play our fasting, why not? So we can double play our indignation and double play our talk to the hand. Oh, I guess the fight's over. Yeah, that seems to be happening a lot now. Ah, well. Uh, lose Mental Fortress. They're all great cards, but Talk to the Hand on Vault are both amazing, and Mental Fortress is just nice in this deck. They all have their uses. Omniscience into... Omniscience into Fasting into 
What's Ragnarok? Well, you know, we win. Next. Uh, heal 1 HP, very crucial, and get another fasting, why not? You're gonna notice there's kind of a catchphrase for tonight's run, which is, why not? Uh, which is actually my favorite Pokemon. Not a lot of people know that. It's a very underrepresented Pokemon in the video game space. And I resent that. Uh, yeah, I just, I just said it. So there you go, now you know how I feel about the Pokemon, why not? Discard that, get me my omniscience. Give me that. Alright, let's double play an omniscience so that we can double play a fasting. So that we can double play a wish for strength. And double play it again for more strength. And then, uh. And we'll sort the rest out later. Or right now, I guess that works. Uh, draw a bunch of cards is a good thing to do. Oh look, there's a bunch of them and they all have strength. I wonder if this will be a difficult fight for us. I don't think it will. This could do 14 to all. That could be 28 to all. Yeah, if we're in wrath. Solve a lot of our problems right here, couldn't I? If this if we gain four strength and dex, that goes up to 36, which is actually 54. Yeah, good enough for me. I think we can handle that one later. We did take six damage from the thorns, and I'll let you know if I start caring about that. Hey, fasting, why not? Event. Um, you know what? I want to. I want a curse. It'll be exciting. Add a little difficulty into the run. Hey, look, tantrum. All right, uh, awakened one is gonna get stronger when we play powers. Um. I don't know if we care. You're also the thing is we're also gonna get stronger when we play powers. By like a lot. So now we only get two energy at the start of each turn, but we have Sneko Eye and we draw a bunch, and I'm fine with that. We'll see what happens. It'll make it a little more challenging. Because the thing is, we can also get st stuff that's worth playing for one energy. Also, we can add these to our hand whenever we want. So we'll take 12. Maybe we'll kill this form next turn. It depends what happens. There's our omniscience, finally. Omniscient, omnish. That goes into a Deva form. Uh, that one won't kill us this turn. Oh, worship is fun, though. Uh, I just kind of like going big, though. Give me all the strength and dex. Give it all the strength. Now that blocks for 24. Six plated armor. Mm, I'm thinking too long. That's not how I'm trying to play today. We'll deal with it next turn. Take 12, who cares? Alright, let's... Do some stuff. Get up to 3 energy, play a ball. Up to five mantra now. There's some of that good stuff. Uh, now we just kind of chill for a turn. Nothing we can really do. 
we just watch ourselves get stronger. Now we get 10 mana at the start of our turn. We're going to play every card there is to play. <laughs> um, cool. And, and I'm go big. All the energy. Oh, actually. This will be perfect. It is judged. And that's the daily run for you. I'm not surprised that lasted 38 minutes. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, deal 1178 damage to the heart. Let's see how we did on the leaderboards. Continue. <laughs> we got a lot of money, which makes sense with the Midas modifier. Um... Light speed victory in under 45 minutes. I like shiny, 25 plus relics. We didn't do a lot of perfect fights or bosses, but it was because we didn't care that much about our score or anything, really. Wait, it didn't give me a ranking? What? Where's my daily run at, though? Do my score. We got 60th. Uh. I wonder how many people have done the daily run today. Let's click this for a while. Da 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 wa da ba da wa da ba da. Just a little bit of entertainment. Okay, uh, looks like some hundreds of people have done the daily run today. I don't know, I'm gonna guess 600 people have done it. Scores are starting to get pretty low. These are probably people who died partway through. Maybe made it into Act 3. Soon we'll start getting into the people who didn't make it to past the first or second act. Huh, a lot of people did this one. Uh, I don't know why this matters to me. I just like seeing it. I just like knowing like what percentage we're out of the people who did it. Not that it matters, because obviously, like... I've played this game for hundreds of hours, up to Ascension 20, and then a lot more there. And it would be really weird if more than a very small percentage of players had put that much time into the game. It's not like, oh, I've got such an amazing natural talent. Like, no, I've spent a lot of time both playing this game and watching like strategy videos about how to play this game better. I would not imagine that more than like a pretty small percentage of the player base thinks that's worth doing. Wow. Uh, oh, the last time I did this was on Switch. There must be a lot more players on PC than Switch, because on Switch there were like 600 people. This makes sense why there would be a lot more on the PC version. I thought this would be a much quicker thing to do. Uh, that said, we are getting to the low digits. Wow, a lot of people with 34, a lot of people with 39, 17. Pretty soon we'll start getting to the zeros, right? I wonder if I wonder what you do to get exactly five points. All right, now it's just a lot of zeros. 22, 24. More fives than zeros, it seems like. Yo, shout out to S-P-R-K-M-A-N, doing their best out of there. Shout out to Dark Wolf 9 And wow, uh, this is the official corporate account of the popular video game Monster Hunter. Good to see them. Good to see them. Okay, well, so that so 60. I mean, a lot of these aren't really people who played the run. These are people who started it and quit it, but let's say out of like 2,000 who like kind of started to play ish. I don't know if I'll count this. I don't know. The point is we're in a small number of people who beat it with a high score and that is pretty much what you expect. I don't know. I just spent my time that way and yours. Bye.